So stylistically, um, now you play everything, right? You're, yeah, you're pretty so. much. I mean, I, I would call myself, I'm, I'm really mostly a pop player. Uh -huh. I, I can, I can, I have a decent understanding of Latin. I played in big bands. I have a decent understanding of bebop and I certainly have the art form and <laughs> funk and everything. Um, um, and, and I, I play some Indian pieces in my, in my clinics now, um, which is, which has been very uh, enlightening and eye opening. I do a piece that Pete Lockett wrote and that was very inspiring that kind of, I was able to delve into, uh, not, not the, uh, conical stuff or the, um, what should we call it, uh, tabla stuff, but just the application of some of the rhythms on drum set, which is great. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I just, you know, it's, I just like to stay inspired. I always find something that inspires me. I'm always downloading new music and listening to different stuff and checking out players on YouTube. And I go through phases of different drummers I'll be listening to. Like I'll go through, you know, I'll, I'll just like all of a sudden go through this Buddy Rich phase. I just went through a Tony Royster Jr. phase because he's a great soloist. And, and uh -huh. you know, I, I went through this Mike Portnoy phase recently. I was just like checking out every solo of his. Like, you know, I just kind of go through these like, Wow, who am I going to check out now? You know, right, right. And I really got off on on and so appreciated um, David Letterman's um, having ever having a different drummer coming in and soloing every day for a week. That was just so awesome. Like yeah, that Sheila, was cool. Sheila E was blow away. Yeah, she was blow away. Stuart, was Co cool Stuart Copeland was fucking awesome. Everybody was awesome. It was just so cool. It was such an amazing support of our of our art art form. You know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Definitely. So I think it's just important to keep your eyes and ears open and, and like, you know, the moment you think you got it, you don't. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the more I learn, the more I realize I need to learn. And there's such a vast, there's just a wealth and depth of knowledge out there that I could never hope to even acquire a minute portion of. So I just keep my eyes open and do my best to try to keep learning and try to keep developing my, my chops and, you yeah. know, listening to like anything from like Meshuga. Thomas Hake, who's just, that shit is just absolutely so fucking brilliant. It's like, it's jaw dropping to, uh -huh. to Benny Greb, to, you know, listening to Tony Williams. And, and of course, you know, my, my fave of faves is still Vinny. You know, I still listen to Vinny and just like yeah. drool, you know, um, <laughs> and, and, and just appreciating everybody and, and Abe and Josh and Kenny and, mm -hmm. and, 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 um, Bill, you know, Bill Stewart and, um, 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 uh, Antonio Sanchez, who is just one of the most brilliant drummers on the planet and also mm -hmm. a, a good friend of mine. And, you know, I just you gotta keep your eyes and ears open, man. It's, it's just so much fun. There's so much to learn and so much yeah. to listen to, you know? Yeah. I have to say you guys have a, you guys have a real community in the drummer, you know, scene we do. where there's so much respect, um, between you. There really is. But as I said, I think it's because of what I said earlier. There's just a certain type of person that tends to be a drummer. And, 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 uh, I mean, that's, that, I don't want to stereotype because drummers are, are, are people of all walks of life. But, right. Um, yeah. there, there tends to be this community type of gene that tends to be present in the DNA of drummers. <laughs> <laughs> You know, hence the whole drum agree. circle and everything. Just yeah, you know, I, I got agree. I got about another I, five. One of my I got, closest friends in college were drummers, and I found that to be true with them yeah. too. 